Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderbus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. We are out here on Lake Ontario and we are trolling with the American Smelt Crankbait. I've got Antonio with me and Enzo and we just got our lines wet. Hey Antonio. Yeah, and you struck right away. And I struck right away, which is a good sign. It's a great day out here. Water temperature is 41 degrees, so it's a nice spring day weather-wise, but it's always cold around the water. But we've got these floater suits on, which keep us nice and warm. Okay, now we're trolling for trout, trout or salmon. And this looks like a nice lake trout. Oh yeah, Antonio. What do you think, Enzo? <laughs> a good start to the day right there. Hey? Well, that's a nice lake trout. Oh, and he's twisting and turning and wrapping himself <laughs> up, eh? <laughs> Still full of energy. I brought him in pretty quick, didn't oh. I? Oh, he just came off. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah, I brought him in pretty quick. Which will make for a great release as well. Uh, if I can, if I can grab him. Boy, they're, they're really slippery. Plus the hooks in there. Yeah. Oh. Okay, come on, there you go. That's easier that way. You like that release, that Enzo? Was, that's kind of what I do. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the technique today, all we're gonna do this morning, we've, got, uh, we've only got a few hours because uh, we actually have a a communion to go to this morning but uh, you know what we said it's a great sunny day let's go out there let's troll for a bit and run in these uh, American smelt uh, crankbaits and uh, all we're doing is flatline and as you can see here all I've got is a single snap on the on the American smelt and uh, basically simple simple technique folks just trolling no weights no downriggers no planer boards Nothing. Just let the lure dive down on its own. We're trolling in about uh, 20 to 25 feet right here uh, at the mouth of the Niagara River. And I'm gonna troll at about two and a half miles an hour. And I'm letting out, uh, I'm letting out basically almost all my spool of line. I'm leaving a little bit there, of course, but I'm letting out uh, most of my line because I want my, I want that crankbait as far away from the boat as possible so that we're not spooking the fish. And the other thing, okay, I'm going a bit fast there, four miles an hour. The other thing I'm doing, if to gain maximum depth from that lure, you want to keep your rod tip down, just like that. Keep your rod tip down as you're trolling. And what that does is that forces your lure down closer to the bottom and when you're close to the bottom, you're close to the strike zone. As opposed to if I put my rod in the holder, like that, I mean, it's much more comfortable. I don't have to hold it, but it's forcing my lure up. And I might not get as many hits that way because I'm not in the strike zone. So, rod tip down, two and a half, three miles an hour. And every once in a while, I just give it a little, a little twitch just to make it look like that smelt is is breaking away and maybe trigger a hit okay boys what do you think we're off to a great start you are <laughs> i am okay <laughs> well we just got started so what color are you guys running i got the orange you got the orange on yeah orange being gold is that the gold one or is it orangey gold orangey gold yeah, yeah. yeah antonio what do you got mine's this mine's white you got blue. the silver or the natural the natural sorry. natural okay and I've got the uh, silver purple. So stay tuned, folks. We're off to a great start. Well, we struck again. I'll tell you, there's no mistaking when you get a bite out here. It's just whammo. So I take the I take the boat out of. Uh, I put it in the neutral so we can fight the fish. Otherwise, it would be a way too hard to fight these fish as you're trolling. You out, Antonio? I'm out. I'll get the net. You want to net them? Okay, feels like a good fish. Now I'm going to back up on my drag just a bit here as we get closer to the boat. They tend to make a run for it. Feels like a good fish, Antonio. 
Another laker? I think so. He's not running like a salmon, so I'm gonna say it's a lake trout. It is. I oh, can you see, see it? Wow, this water is so clear. Look at him wow. fight down there. You see that, Enzo? Oh, that's <laughs> something. Look at that. Big chunk. Eh? It is a chunk of a fish, isn't it? Still green in front of we're gonna land them. Maybe we are? we're gonna land them. <laughs> My little bass. Man, that is too small. I know it's too small. That's what makes it more challenging. <laughs> we can't make it easy for you. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that thick fish. Well, this one's thick and heavy. Wow, look how thick he is. It's a good one. It is a good one. Okay. Let's uh, grab me a needle nose. I'll get this guy off. Okay. There's a big. What do you think, Enzo? Wow. Nice what fish. What do you think? Nice fish. Weight wise. Oh, I don't know. He's 12, 13. Yeah. Big, thick fish. Okay, let's get him back in. Okay. And away he goes. You gotta love that. Boy, did he just he just hammered that bait. Hit it really hard. Okay, we're gonna head back in, so start heading back towards the river mouth again. That fish came out of 23 feet of water. Okay, we'll get it back in the gear again, folks, and see if we can hook in another fish. That was a lot of fun. He's swimming towards the boat, until you gotta crank it. Just keep cranking, don't let your line loose. They'll do that, they'll swim towards the boat. Just keep, oh. yeah, he's still there. He come off, keep cranking. No, he's still there. Oh, he's there. He's there. See what happens? He's just swimming towards the boat. And that's the thing, folks. When that happens, you got to keep cranking because if you want to come here, Enzo, I'll land them for you. If you let your line get loose, they'll shake those hooks. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish, Enzo. <laughs> They're strong, aren't they? Yeah. The gold has struck. Just a matter of time before that gold kicked in. Yeah. Oh, beautiful fish. Look at the colors on them. Gorgeous fish. Take it easy. Take it easy. And there you go, Enzo. Wow. There's your laker. Oh, there you go. There's your lake trail right there. That's a great fish. Okay, here. I'll help you get them off. Beautiful. What a nice fish. Look at the colors on them. Isn't that nice? Huh? Absolutely gorgeous. Great fight. Yeah, you like that, eh? Oh. Good hard hit. That, oh, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> I told Made you. Made my day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> back in he goes. There you go. Okay, well, here's your gold American smelt. Wait, we'll just get it out of the net here. There you go. You know what, folks? Thanks. Flat lining. Covering a lot of water, looking for aggressive fish. So much fun. If you get an opportunity, get out there, do some flat line trolling, get deep diving crankbait, and have some fun. We're having a great time out here. So glad you could join us today, folks. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, good luck and good fishing. T turn hook rigs, the hooks are actually a long shanked hook, which makes it much more comfortable for removing the hook.